hi in this video I am going to tell you how to make a frequency table if raw data is given raw data is there so that raw data how to make it as a group data before that I want you to subscribe my channel and also click the bell button so that all the lessons you will be getting notifications also you share my you share this lesson to your friends so that they will also understand in this lesson I am speaking completely English so with this you also can learn how to speak English and how to use the mathematical language in the form of English let us go to how to make the uh, frequency table now this is marks of 20 students are as follows 20 students marks are given here okay 10 students one row 10 students one row now this is raw data that means I have collected this data by going to a class so now this is raw data this raw data we have to change it into group data raw data to group data why should we change this data to the group data because using this data it is very difficult to analyze the class students so that is why if it is uh, arranged if all these students are arranged in groups then it will be easy to uh, analyze the statistics of this uh, students okay now let us see step number one step number one you have to find out the range from which number to which number these marks are distributed so range range is also very important range is nothing but highest I can call these as marks as well as the score or observations so highest I will write score minus lowest score so this is the first step so identify from this the highest uh, 48 is the highest yes 48 is the highest and the lowest is 18 yeah so highest is 48 and lowest is 18 which is equal to 30 so with the 30 marks range all these students 20 students got the number marks that means all these 20 students got the marks between 18 to 48 that means the range of the marks is 30 now let us go to the step 2 now we have to divide it into the groups what are the groups groups will be divided between the marks for example 10 to 20 marks so these are the marks because now we are dealing the marks so we will be getting the marks 10 to 20 is one group so this is also called class class is nothing but a group and some people will say class interval that is also okay you can say group you can say class you can say class interval so 10 to 20 so 10 is the lower limit and 20 is the upper limit the difference is known as size of the class size of the class so between 10 to 20 the size is 10 so in this we don't know what is the lower limit what is the upper limit what is the size of the class so those things we have to find out so now this size depends upon the number of groups number of groups number of groups means classes class is nothing but a group so how many classes we have to make in this nothing is given so then how many classes usually six or seven or eight classes are okay so six seven eight are easy to analyze the data so now 
size of the class is the next target size of the class is equal to range divided by number of classes number of groups number of class intervals so this is the formula this is one more formula second formula came so range already we got it 30 divided by number of classes if i write 6 it will become 5 i can write 7 i can write 8 also so i'll write 6 so sometimes what happened here i got it 5 if i write 7 i will be getting something 4.2 uh, something will be done okay so don't worry whether you are getting it in points decimals or a round figure like 5 no problem okay we have to take this size of the class always round figure you can take decimals also if the range is very 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 less then you can take decimals so now here 5 is the range size of the class i'm sorry so now i got the size of the class now i have to make the groups now step 3 groups groups so groups that means all these students marks should be arranged in the groups for that you should see the lowest lowest is 18 Eight, 18 should come in the first group in such a way you have to make a group so now i can say 15 to 20 is one group 15 to 20 so 18 will come in this group lower limit is 15 upper limit is 20 so what will be the next group 20 to 25 the next because the size is 5 the size is 5 so the difference in the two limits upper limit and lower limit is the size of the class some people will say class interval some people will say length of the class all are the same so 20 to 25 like the how, how many classes you should do in such a way you should accommodate 48 also okay so if you are going like this so what would be the last group it will be 45 to 50 so now just uh, i don't have space here i will write it nicely so here right the first group is 15 to 20 and the second group is 20 to 25 third group is 25 to 30 30 to 35 and 35 to 40 and 40 to 45 45 to 50 you must be asking me sir you said only six classes here we got more than six one two three four five six seven no problem you may be getting one class extra sometimes one class less you will not be getting all the time you will not get exactly six classes you may be getting one class extra but this is the first part so i may have made into the groups so this is known as class some people will say intervals also you can say interval and you can say groups or you can say simply marks because all these are marks only because marks are given in the place of marks if these are some weights you can write weight if in this place of marks if these things are the uh, maybe uh, apples all these 20 students are having apples so in the place of marks you can write uh, apples whatever the variable that you can write here you can mark you can have group you can have simply class or you can have class interval so next i have to arrange all these students in this let us go to the first student 20 so 20 is there in the first group as well as in the second group so in this all this lower limit only to be considered included upper limit is not included maybe in my previous lesson it may you may be hearing that 
upper limit is to be considered no only lower limit is to be considered and upper limit should not be considered 20 so 20 is their upper limit of the first class lower limit so this 20 will come in this you mark as a one one means one student this is not one a tally mark in this place you can put anything some people will put will be putting like this so one student came here so you can represent any mark so that is why this we call this as a mark and also we call it as a tally mark tally mark we are tallying these students with this table now cut it because 20 is adjusted here now 18 keep your finger here 18 will come in the first group cut it 32 32 will come in this group cut it once you have arranged here you should cut it 41 will come in this group cut it 26 it will come in this group cut it you make one procedure 28 again 28 where it will come again in the same group it will come you put one more mark second mark cut it now check tally how many we have cut one two three four five six sometimes you may be getting disturbance at that time this will help you now how many uh, students were uh, written here one two three four five six one two three four five six yes tallied so in between even if you uh, get distracted there is no problem now go to 34 cut it 34 here and 48 cut it here and 24 again and 20 it will come in the second group upper limit is not to be considered cut it and 19 you put it here and you cut it 26 again you put it here and you cut it 28 again you put it here and you cut it 33 here and cut it 34 here and cut it 32 4 are over 32 will come in this group the fifth one you have to make a cross mark that will indicate it is a bunch when you are counting it will be difficult if you make a bunch each bunch is five so the fifth one is cross so this is one bunch five so 32 here i have put it i did not cross it and 37 again it will come in this cross it 40 upper limit is not possible lower limit you have it right here and 38 38 where it will come here and 29 again fifth one you make it across so over now i have adjusted i have kept all the students marks in the groups so then what will be the next you count how many students are there in each group so here two students are there and here three students are there here five students four and one and here also five students are there here two students are there here two students and here one student so this we call it as a frequency that is why this table we call it as a frequency table frequency table which shows the frequency what is frequency the number of things in this things are students the number of things present in the group is known as the frequency you may be getting as a definition also define frequency very simple number of things because these are the things in this particular question they are students number of students in each group in a group we call it as a frequency this table has a frequency 
that is why we call this table as a frequency table let us verify whether this is correct or not you add all the numbers 2 plus 3 5 plus 5 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 2 17 19 and 20 so 20 students 20 students so our frequency table is tallied and it is correct i hope you have understood take your textbook so many questions are there take two problems and make the frequency table one more thing sometimes in the question make the frequency table using the height of the class sometimes height will be given sometimes class intervals will be given okay sometimes one class will be given 40 to 45 use this 45 to 45 so at that time no need to find out the range no need to find out the uh, size of the class no need of this you just find out the lowest score and highest score accordingly you write these groups and tally marks and frequency this is what is frequency table this is how we have to make the frequency table i hope you have enjoyed subscribe my channel share this video to your friends also so that they will also understand see you in my next video